I don't know whether to go for a blue or a red. Mac in here, I think I'm going to go for a red so that there'll be red behind. Um, bringing up the red in here by showing out here. So we'll see what happens and I'll see if I can get some of this what I've been trying to demonstrate and get onto video of putting water So there are a couple of ways to do this. I'm putting the water first here and going right up to the edge of the newest circles with just water. So when I go in with my color, I can go in pretty fast. I can paint pretty fast because I've already given it a place to go by wetting these and being very careful about where the water goes. It's actually delineating the circle. Okay, so I've got, whoops. And you can do this on the very smallest areas. All right, now a little bit of red. This red is a little So you can move faster once you have that water down. You still make mistakes too, I just made one. Um, you can move faster laying this paint down because you've made a place for it. And again, this kind of motion I'm doing here is just a matter of getting color into the water that's, that is laid down here. Okay, so you can real fast do that, easy, because you've done it slowly with the water, and that doesn't make a permanent mark when you put it there, the water. Paint will. And also, I think I mentioned this already, Okay, I did go in and put more water to move that. I know this is wet up in here, so I'm still going to go back into there. Yeah, so going ahead and putting right around the edge, we'll leave it a little bit darker as it spreads into the middle part. And the general effect of that when it's cut down to the circles. Okay, now I'm all the way back here. I'm getting, getting onto the board good and steady here. Oh. On this board good and steady here. Now, it has the effect of being a kind of a shadow behind that last circle or any of the circles that's behind. And that adds to this overlaying depth effect that we're going for. Okay, so I put what I put the brush into the red maybe three times to get this done. And maybe I'll put a tiny bit more here. Okay, so I'm going to do that over here as well. So this is a much smaller area. 
And the areas are getting smaller and smaller as we go. Hmm, I think here I'm not going to go up to the edge. Maybe, yeah, I will. But I'm going to make it a little darker. Well, that's not necessary. Well, I don't know. We'll see what other colors are going to overlay there. All right, you see it? Can you see my hand? Yeah, I've got my hand like this. So I'm braced to get this evenly here. And I'm holding the brush way back here. I got a good brace, I'm not going to shake. Gee. Like I say, you can afford to be a little sloppy because you've got water here that's helping you. And you can go back into the water. Right, I haven't dipped my brush back into the paint or the water yet. I'm about ready to. And when I do, I'm going to go right over here with it. Haven't dipped it in yet. I may not need to. So it's getting a little dry. It's good to see brush strokes on the page, but not dry ones, unless it's intentionally something that's supposed to be dry. With watercolor, you like to see juicy brush strokes. That red is so different from that red. It's the same red that I use. Okay, I'm going to go a little bit. And later, if I decide it's too garish a red, I can go over it in small areas, too. Because we're using light washes. So when you go over, <clears throat> excuse me, you go over it with different colors, the colors don't mix together. They're overlaid, but they don't come up and get muddied. Oh, look. Here's a good area to do. I'm going to be real careful and put the water right in the middle first, just as if it's paint, because it's smaller. And then I'm going to go around and make my paint... Um, my color receptor here in the water. Okay, it's good to go. Go over, get a little bit of red. Dragging in the water. Dragging in the water and gonna allow it to get light there and see what happens. And one more small area. Okay, here it's still wet enough for me to go in there. I said, Don't worry about little things, the water's gonna be waiting for you there. And there it is. And on this, we're using these loose things, too. Okay, I'm going to work in here. And again, this is a smaller brush because I'm in a smaller area. And with the larger brushes, they're really meant to be held, all of them, with this small place, small part of the brush right here. But you see, I'm holding this brush much closer 
when I've got the small part resting there. Okay, so I'm using this one. And this is a size six. It is a Windsor Newton, yes. Series 7, and it's an older one because it says finest sable. The next ones that are the next generation are sable, just plain sable. Nothing wrong with that, but these are finest sable. And then the newest ones that we're getting now or that are coming out now are called Kolinsky sable. And I've, as I've said before, this brush was my father's and I've used it. It's a size 10. It's worn down. And this one is also finest sable. My father. This brush must be about 90 years old. All right, I'm going to be a little careful with the water here because I didn't stretch this paper and it's curling up, so everything's going to naturally go that way. Oh, I could weight it down. That's what I did before. Just put a little weight on it until it dries. It still curls. This thick watercolor paper is pretty nice. Can you see my hands? Yeah, I've got my, my hand is braced sort of in the wrist of my left hand. I'm standing also, by the way. I could be sitting, but I've got this pushed way across the table <laughs> from where I would be sitting on the sofa. So I've got the sofa behind me, and I'm standing, leaning over this. It's a coffee table. There. And then we'll let it dry and see what we have, because as the red soaks in, it seems to be not, not quite as bright. I left this, too. I kind of have a cat body shape. I'm trying to keep that, so. All right. That looks pretty good. I think the next one I'll do... Uh, a cobalt blue or a green. I don't know about that. And then I think I'm going to have to do a little bit of finessing on this to really demonstrate that it's a cat. Yeah. I like it. Okay, how long is this? 13 minutes. All right. Maybe next time I'll do another one. It's time lapse. I like those. <laughs> 